Good evening YouTube and welcome back to how to build an F-14 Tomcat. So yesterday's video I showed you guys all the molds that were done and said that I was going to try and possibly get these parting points for the fuselage knocked out of the way and start making a headway on getting this fuselage molded starting next week or the week after. Well, it's bored today. Didn't feel like watching TV because there's nothing good on as usual. So here we are back out in the shop. Uh, made a trip to Home Depot. We got some materials and some supplies so we can get the making some flying airplanes. I'm getting tired of looking at this thing sitting here doing nothing. But uh, same table that I built the, the fuselage on, I took some two foot by four foot sheets of uh, half inch MDF and I just screwed to the table. I did that on both sides to give a nice wider base. It's about uh, six inches wider than the fuselage on either side at the moment. As you can zoom out here and got a little better view there. So once I got that done, I got my, don't tell the wife, I stole a towel and put it under the airplane. That way uh, it doesn't get scratched or dented or anything. And then up towards the nose section, I just took a piece of green floral foam, cut it to shape, stuck it on the nose to get the nose sat there and I hot glued it to the table so it won't move. So the fuselage, other than the back section, just sitting there is not moving at the moment. It won't budge this way at least, or that way. But uh, as you see on the table, I took some uh, just some scrap material I had from the, the other parting points, and I cut it up for little supports. And um, what I did to figure that out is I want the parting point to go right in the center of the pivot shaft exit hole on the horizontal stab, which is right here. So I just took tape measure, measured up to about the center of it, and uh, then I took the thickness of the parting boards and subtracted that. Cut them all to, to the right size, again hot glued them to the MDF board, and they're nice and rigid. I was, uh, wasn't stingy with putting the hot glue down to hold these things in place, because once the parting board is put on top here and hot glued down, that's actually going to keep this back portion of the fuselage from sliding around and that'll stay there until the whole top of it is molded. Um, you can see I got the spine parting board. I get it already cut in shape. Um, to do it was just kind of trial and error. I took some measurements for the width of it on the inside, drew a couple vertical lines for that, put a center line down it, and then I just took one of those wire uh, contour gauges and just kind of guessed at it. Put that down, cut it out with a jigsaw, slid it down in position, then just took a sharpie and went back around it to adjust it. Little small gaps here and there, so again, body filler on there. And I put tape down so I wouldn't ruin the surface because this area here is actually painted and it took me forever to get that perfect, so I didn't want to mess it up. So just blue masking tape, body filler on the party board, put in position and then go around and make sure it's nice and in all the crevices like it needs to be with, uh, with your body spreader and then just hold it until it dries. So that one is, I'm going to leave it there for another 10 minutes or so so it's nice and cured. Then I'll pop it off, sand it smooth and then I'll put it back in position. I'll run some hot glue beads down here inside of the, the fuselage off the bulkheads to hold it in position. The parking point on the other side is same thing. I've got uh, the body filler down. I'm going to let it cure for another 15, 20 minutes or so. And then i got to cut the groove out for the pivot shaft and the parting board, uh, fill it around that area. And this parting board will be ready to get glued, hot glued in position on the, on the support portions of it. So, since this thing's got a really nice womanly physique and some curves to it. It's a little difficult to uh, to get the parting boards just right. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you everyone out there how I went about doing that. It's just uh, some rubber made multi-purpose shelf. 
uh, 12 inch by 4 foot section of this stuff was like 11 bucks. So I'm just going to set it here on top of this sports. My parting point here because of the lower wing fairing start, stops about right here, so I'm just going to have it extend past it just a little bit. I want to make sure I got it extending past the back side of the fuselage as well by about an inch or so, maybe plus or minus a little bit. And that'll sit there. I'm going to take a Sharpie and a combination square. So what I do with the combination square is I just set it up to where the ruler part is off the surface down here a little bit. See a little bit of a gap there. And then this one has a nifty little marker scrap built into it that just screws in the back back here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna unscrew that just a little bit. And then the Sharpie marker is gonna sit just like that. And as I move along, it'll hold the Sharpie in the same position. And as long as I keep the combination square at 90 degrees to the edge of the parting board, I'll get a nice traced outline for the side of the fuselage. And it works fairly well, so zoom in a little bit. We'll get the whole thing in there, but it'll give you the idea. And you can see that parting board cuts that pivot shaft hole right in the center. Start there. Again, it doesn't have to be exact. The, the closer you can get it, the less body filler work you'll have to do. Then when you're done, since we started here on the back side, you got to continue that on across. Combination square. Here, match it up. Right around the cross. And then when you're done, go the other direction. You got your nice contour line there. So uh, I'm going to pause y'all for a moment. Cut this out in the jigsaw, and uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> 